Greetings everyone. I personally thank you for showing up. This is your lecturer and your host Bra MBU welcoming you to this exciting and vibrant session on angular motion. Today we'll be discussing and doing examples focusing on angular displacement, angular velocity and angular acceleration. Without wasting any time, let's dive in. A motor rotating at 3500 revs per minute slows down to 1500 revs per minute in 15 seconds. Calculate the angular acceleration of the motor and the number of revolutions in this time. First things first, if you do not know the formula to use, you are wasting your time. You might as well pass that question. So for us, we will go and find the formula because we know what is being asked. We have found the formula and we have simplified it such that it meets our criteria. Since the original does not give us an option to just substitute by our rotational frequency. As you can see from now on, all we do is to substitute, press the calculator to get the answer. And we know that the angular acceleration is measured in radians per second squared. So that's why we have that red per second squared as the symbol or the SI unit for it. We can at this point figure out a way to find that N which is the number of revolutions. We know that theta or angular displacement is part of it. So if we first find theta, then we will be able to find our n. If you've been following, by this time you should know why we simplify our formulas. From the previous example, we told you and then we explained why we have to make them simple so that we may know what to do. And also, now we are taking everything and putting everything in one step because we believe that you have gained speed with practice. Theta is there with a value. Let us substitute in the place of theta. We took the value for theta, substituting it. 2 pi does not need any substitution because it's already 2 pi. They are both constants. Then we have n. Now we can divide theta by 2 pi so that we may get the answer for our n. This is how we get it. I will also show you an alternative way of getting the same answer. Remember guys, there is always more than one way to do anything. So even for us to find this angular displacement, there are different formulas we can use. For example, this is one of such formulas. I'm sure some of you did think about this one. Then we can uh, just find our omegas, omega 1 and omega 2, and then we do the substitution. If you first calculate your omegas, you will find them like this. You do your substitution. After doing your substitution, you just find your theta. If you want to compare your thetas or your angular displacement, you will notice that if you omit the decimals, they look exactly the same. So what does that tell you? It means that even the number of revolution will be the same. You can just press those digits and then find that the number of, of revolution is exactly the same as the first one, which is 625. Wow, that was quite a long one. But yeah, we are still there and we have finished it after all. Guys, if you have any suggestions, you can just post them. I will read them and work on them because I want to give you the best of me. If I do that, we will all grow together strongly. So I love you guys and God bless you.